Hi there. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about Tenorshare for DDIG, or how I like to call it, for the dig, because it will dig after your data and recover it. And now a quick little story to tell you why a data recovery software is extremely important. About 15 years ago, if I recall correctly, uh, basically I booted up my PC, it gave a weird error while booting, started uh, fixing errors on uh, my secondary hard drive, and when uh, Windows was booted up, my secondary hard drive, which had all our uh, personal uh, files and pictures and data on it, was looking like a new empty hard drive. Nothing was there anymore. So the partition somehow got corrupted. Something weird happened there. So, yes, this software is really important. Let's minimize that. We can simply download it. As you can see, it's working on all modern Windows versions. No issues whatsoever. And it can recover from deleted files. You simply deleted a file and it's not in the recycle bin or even in the recycle bin, you can recover it from a formatted hard drive. You format the wrong drive. That's extremely possible to happen. Uh, for example, I have six drives at the moment when I power everything up on my computer. So yeah, I could potentially format the wrong one. Lost partition. I think this is what I had uh, about 15 years back. From external drives, obviously. Crashed computer. So lost partition, crashed computer, these two could have helped me back in the day. And uh, raw drive, basically if nothing is working on that disk anymore, so it um, for DDIG will search in depth on the whole drive to find every single piece of recognizable data and retrieve it for you. As you can see, many types of files that uh, it can receive photos, uh, re uh, recover, not receive, photos, videos, audios, uh, documents, emails, and various files. Let's download it and install it. Okay, and it finished installing. I'm not going to start it. I'm going to create a really possible situation for me at least in this, which is the micro SD card from my dashboard camera in my car, in an adapter, in an adapter. Here is the data. So we have some video files that the card, uh, the, the camera recorded in two folders and also two pictures. For example, this one is one of them. Let's simulate the deletion. As you can see, there's a lot of data, but there might be a situation when I realize later, hey, I forgot to take uh, one clip from the card and now it's deleted and it's not in recycle bin. I don't use recycle bin. I go full shift delete each and every single time. I hate emptying the recycle bin. So for me, that option is non-existent. Now, as you can see, this drive is fully empty. Let's start uh, for DDIG. This is the drive that we want. You can see it's empty at the point, uh, at this point. So start. At the moment, we have all files, but honestly, for me, zero chance of having any of this. Let's scan it. So as you can see, the scanning is still doing its thing. We are at 12%, but you are already getting uh, results. So you don't even need to wait for the scan to fully uh, end. You can search through the results and see if what you need has already been found. For example, I am going to search. So we are in tree view, deleted files. This is the main folder and this is the photo folder. And in here we have some files, even older ones that who knows when they were in that card, as you can see 2020. So at this point, 
we check the data ourselves. So this is, as you can see, a file that was uh, worked on today. It's good. It has a valid size. This is the same file. This is another file, same today. So this should be our second photo. If you look this one zero bytes, that's not valid. This is extremely old, I don't care about it. Extremely old, I don't care about it. In here again, uh, zero bytes, I don't care about it. So these our, uh, are our files. Basically, we already find, uh, found the pictures. They are selected. And now you can go further and look, for example, this folder. All of them are already found. Click everything. Also, in this uh, main folder, I can click everything. And now you simply click on recover. And now I will enter my code, but you normally go to buy now and buy the software and use the uh, code in the link from this video. Entered the registration data and click on register. Let's get back to the app. Okay, and now we choose where to save the data. Extremely important, do not save the data on the same drive that you are recovering from. That can overwrite deleted or damaged files. Do not do that. Save onto something else. Normally on this, but mine are almost full already. I'm kind of out of space. So on C drive, we will simply make a new folder. So this one and hit recover and uh, yeah, it seems I still don't have enough space. Hmm. Okay. Ish. So I will leave uh, the photos because I know for a fact that I need them and I will just take two of the videos and let's go in the same location and hit recover. At this point, recovery completed, four files, this is the size of them. And yes, just to show you, this is why I don't really have space. Only even on my C drive, we are kind of low on space, on the other drives even worse. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Let's get back here, view recovered. Deleted files. It creates the same uh, structure as it was on the drive where we deleted from, which is awesome. And you can see the pictures right here. And I wish I would be back here. Hmm, that was nice. Pictures working perfectly. And for the videos, I'm not going to open them up because honestly, I don't know exactly what videos I picked uh, randomly from the list because I didn't have enough space to save them all. And I really don't want to show uh, car numbers or people's faces. Uh, that's why I don't even post on YouTube uh, like others do the videos filmed with my uh, dash cam. So yeah, but they are also saved. So that's about it. And obviously, if you have lots of files, make sure you have place on a drive free space where to save all of them so you search for the one that uh, you actually need and coming back the scanning is still working in a background if you found what you need you can stop it pause it whatever you want it gives us a bit of info here and you can also go into file view where it uh, sorts them by file type, not by the folder structure that they were previ previously in. So depending on what you need to save, this might be better for you than tree view with folder structure. So every single information that you could require is in here. In support, uh, you can obviously search by terms in uh, resources, uh, how to's, for example, tips and whatnot. So yeah, and obviously also Mac data recovery, but we are not going into that at the moment. So thank you very much for uh, watching. As always, feel free to ask whatever you need in, in the comments and see you in the next one. Bye.